Hi everyone, I'm coming to you from my home in the province for today's vlog. I am actually in my garden right now, mainly because it's a very cloudy day, so there's not a ton of natural light that's going inside the house. So um, this is where I can find the best lighting in the house at the moment. But I think this is very apt for our vlog today because I actually want to talk about a sunscreen stick. Now, um, the reason why I'm here is because my partner has been here in our home for a little bit over two weeks now and last week it was actually his birthday so um, the unfortunate thing about that is I was not actually able to arrive here on his actual birth date mainly because there was a huge storm here in the Philippines and most of the boat trips were actually cancelled but um, I actually arrived here the day after his birthday I actually left Metro Manila in Huff and a Puff so I actually left a lot of stuff on my office table um, because I just wanted to be here and I just wanted to celebrate with him even if I, even if it was already late and um, so in me saying that I do apologize if the audio of this vlog is not gonna be good because I left my microphone lapel at home in Metro Manila like you know but I just really wanted to do this vlog for today and just to talk about this sunscreen stick from La Russi because um, this is the first time that I'm using this type of a product now this sunscreen stick I bought in um, the pharmacy when I was in Paris and like you know I'm still actually in the fence if I like this type of a product in this type of a packaging because like you know this is a sunscreen stick so it comes in solid form so I am still like mm, on the fence about like you know oxidation of the product of course bacterial growth on the product because you apply this directly on your face as you guys can see right there. although like you know in doing that it's very easy to apply the product it's very easy to spread it things like that and it doesn't leave a white cast on the face which is actually amazing which is also very beautiful and like you know it's it's still showing the true color of my skin which I actually like so um this packaging by the way it's just like a dial up packaging so you just like you know um, like you know turn the screw here so that the actual sunscreen stick pops up from the top here and also one other thing is that even though if I applied it all over my skin properly I would still need to use my fingertips just to blend or apply the sunscreen in areas where it's actually quite difficult for the actual stick to reach so that's around the nose here in the under eye area here in the brow bone things like that so I just really like you know um, there's a need for me to still rub it in just to ensure that I have applied a very nice even amount of sunscreen all over my face now also one other thing I do not like the finish of this sunscreen so as you guys can see it's actually very very oily and this is a no-no for me because I have oily skin so if you have dry skin this would be very good to use but otherwise um, it might be an issue for you but um, like you know when I first tried this and I said to myself I don't think I'm gonna be using this on a daily basis at home like you know in Metro Manila when I go to work things like that because I just don't like the finish but here since I am near the beach I think you guys can hear the water splashing um, on the shore um, this is fine and also one other thing the main ingredient of this is candel candelilia wax so it is a wax so it kind of like leaves this waxy residue on my face so if i use this on a daily basis can you imagine that i am like you know quadruple cleansing all the time because it's just very difficult to remove the residue although the wax actually makes the product really stay on my face like you know even if i just Came out of the water things like that i could see like the water just like you know run off my face which is actually great if you're like you know swimming like all day if you're like you know sunbathing so um this is like a nice integrity into the product because it makes it like you know water resistant and it also makes it last longer but it's very difficult to remove at the end of the day also one other thing uh, because of the oily nature of this i know that you guys can say oh if you have oily skin why you why don't you just blot um, it out so yeah so I think it's okay so you can just really, really blot it which I'm doing right now just so that we can remove all of the excess oil so you can use a tissue you can use a handkerchief or you can use a cloth so I'm using a white cloth with us today because I have something to show you guys later 
and you actually remove of like you know my skin doesn't look as oily as it like you know did when I started this video I mean which is okay but it also begs me to ask the question if I do decide to blot out the sunscreen and the extra oil from the formula of this sunscreen does this also affect the sun protection factor of this sunscreen now this has an SPF of 50 although I'm not being anal about it because like you know it happens anyway like if you're using some other sunscreen like you know as, as soon as you blot that sunscreen with tissue or handkerchief I'm sure it's gonna affect it but I do have to say though that in all of the other sunscreen that I use on myself I don't find it necessary for me to blot my skin the only time that I have started blotting my sunscreen is when I started using this because it was just really really oily so let me just get my laptop here because I wanted to read to you guys um, what type of oils is in this um, sunscreen so let me just bring up their um, website here we go so where is that okay so this has apricot oil this has sunflower seed oil and this has wheat germ oil so these are the three components that makes this sunscreen to look quite oily and um I think it's just way too much although like I know it looks good like you know where you're on the beach but on a daily basis I don't think this is good and like you know also in like for me if I buy a sunscreen I would like to have a sunscreen that I could use under makeup so if this has a lot of oil components in it I don't think makeup is going to last on top of this even though if the base of this sunscreen is like you know wax um, I just don't I, I don't know if like you know makeup is gonna last long or it's going to um, like you know affect the, the integrity of the foundation or like you know the blush that I'm going to be using um, because like you know oil is always the culprit that breaks down all of your makeup but if there's anything that I love about all of this like you know oil components in this sunscreen is that I love using this all over my lips because like you know this sunscreen has a water resistant formula it really lasts a long time and like you know the oily components like you know the oily ingredients of this sunscreen just really applies a very nice like you know lushness to my lips which i actually love so i do like think that they should actually like you know create a lip balm for this sunscreen because i think it's actually very very good now um before we continue with this video, let me just uh, read to you guys the sunscreen components of this um, product of theirs. So the first sunscreen ingredient that they have is called diethyl amino hydroxybenzoyl hexyl benzoate. So this is the one that protects us from UVA rays. And the other one is bisethyl hexiloxyphenol methoxyphenyl triazine. So this is the one that protects from UVA and UVB rays. And the other one is called ethyl hexyl triazone. So this protects from UVB rays. So um, I hope that you guys can still hear me clearly, even if the crickets started chirping now. But anywho, at least in reading the like you know sunscreen ingredients in this product, we know that the La Russi sunscreen stick actually offers full spectrum UVA and UVB protection. Now the other thing that I do not like personally with the La Rose sunscreen stick is um, it has nothing to do with the formulation I think the formula is great this is actually vegan and this is also reef friendly and even the scent I don't even mind I love the apricot scent that I smell here I love the vanilla scent and I think this is a hint of coconut on it as well which is actually perfect but if you are someone who has sensitive skin this might be an issue for you um, but what I don't like about this is that when I decide to either blot my face using a white handkerchief or a white cloth or like you know after I have gone to work and I usually wear a lot of white crew neck shirts and as soon as I remove the crew neck shirt and the crew neck shirt just like you know runs through my face it actually picks up a lot of this sunscreen residue from this product now I have to say though that this is not the only sunscreen that leaves residue on my clothes but um, 
what I have to say though is that this La Rose sunscreen leaves a thicker kind of a residue on my clothing mainly because of the waxy nature of the formulation so it's actually more difficult for me to remove the staining than the other sunscreen that I ha that I actually use and this is a little bit frustrating for me because I would need to heat water and pour that into my white shirts in order to melt the waxy content of the sunscreen and the reason why I'm saying that is because the washing machine that we have here um, is a much more simpler version of the washing machines that's like maybe what you have in the United States or, or in Europe wherein you can adjust the water temperature to make it warmer, hotter, or even colder. We don't have that here. So this is just another addition into my laundry routine which I find so frustrating. So I really don't like that. And I also find it that sometimes if I wear a very thick layer of this on my face and I forget to wash my face first before I remove my shirt so I have a very thick layer of wax residue on the cloth and I would need to use like you know a brush just to brush it off including like you know of course with some hot water just to melt it off because what I have noticed if I just use bleach on top of it um, it doesn't really remove the residue because the wax is still there so I so if you're someone who wears a lot a lot of this you know waxy deodorants you would see that the pits of your shirts have staining it's kind of like that so it leaves a residue that I don't like to see on my shirts and um, although like you know using a um, hot water just to melt it will be useful um, I really don't want to do that a lot with my clothes because it, it's just going to ruin my clothes it's just going to like you know a shorten it's like you know longevity of me using it so I really don't like that so as you guys can see here this is a white cloth and I have been blotting this and using this all over my face right now and as you guys can see there's already like you know some residue here and if you get a bleach and then if you decide to bleach your white shirt just to remove all of like you know the sunscreen residue you would see that it has turned pink so this is actually the first time that I have seen my sunscreen turn pink on my white shirts and this actually adds another level of like you know just removing the excessive stains of the sunscreen on my shirt so although like you know as soon as you start washing it like you know the staining is going to be removed but it's going to take a while because of the wax that is stained on this white cloth although i do have to say that the wax is not the main cause of this pinky staining going on but the pink stain that you see here is actually caused by the um, sunscreen ingredients of this particular product so of course um, if you are someone who loves using this particular product or sunscreen sticks in particular just make sure that you're not wearing white <laughs> when you are using them because it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get the stains out and I'm someone who's very obsessive about doing laundry because I'm the one who does the laundry here in the house and also one other thing a lot of my towels are white so the first time that I have seen this in my laundry like, you know as soon as I start adding some bleach I was like why are there pink stains all over my white towels things like that all of my white shirts have a pink stain and it's always in the like you know neck area of my shirts it took me a while for it to click on my head that it was actually from the La Rosie sunscreen so um, that was actually one of the reasons that I decided to only use this when I am not wearing white or where I am actually on the beach so um, that's why I decided to talk about this while I'm here because I think it's just fitting no yeah so that's my vlog for today so if you guys have any more questions about like you know my experience using this La Rosy sunscreen stick uh, please leave them down in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it now I do have to say though that um, I am not really fully turned off from trying another type of like you know sunscreen stick maybe in the future I would like to try one, the sunscreen stick from Shiseido but I'm not gonna do that anytime now because like you know I'm still debating if I'm gonna spend my cash on something um, like that because I still love my sunscreen the sunscreen I still use on a daily basis is still my BNB hyperallergenics Armada Sport 70 all right so um 
I'm gonna let you guys go now because the sun suddenly is starting to come out and the glare is starting to come to me and it's still a bit hot right now and I would really like to go and have a shower first so that I'm just gonna remove all of this residue from my face um, because I just really want to sleep like you know just to have a nap and again um, my bed sheets are white so I don't want to stain them with any like you know residue from this sunscreen all right so I'm gonna let you guys go now thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are bye